Game one of the CBI presented by Zebra Pen goes to the home team. The Creighton Blue Jays win it 84 to 76. Rich Cellini alongside our shooting guard, Craig Elo. Very, very entertaining ball game. Blue Jays stretched out a nice lead, but the Ducks just chipped away one piece at a time. It was a very entertaining ball game. You're exactly right. We got great performances from both teams. One team building up a big lead, but the other team not giving up and making a game of it, even down to the last second. Shooting percentages a little bit off the charts, especially for the home team. <laughs> Creighton, I mean, they're, they're taking shots that just are amazing. I mean, the, the percentages go down the further you get away from the basket, and they still made a, a whopping 54.9% for the game coming off of a 59% uh, in the first half. So if you're a coach, like when that, that Josh Jones took that shot in the corner, you're, you're pulling your hair out saying, no, 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 we don't need that shot. But when your team is on, on fire like they are right now, you got to let them go. Let's take a look at some highlights from tonight's action. First, Doug McDermott, the high point man with 21. He got the Blue Jays started off. He knocked down a three ball early and then his inside game which you don't think he should be able to do, but he uses his body very well and is linked in there. But the range is what's most impressive about him because he can go inside and then go right back outside. And he just is a good player where he knows where to be on the floor. So we go from a freshman to a sophomore, Gregory Echenique. Echenique was just a real man tonight. He just showed all of his man strength tonight on the offensive end and the defensive end. Four block shots. Big for the Blue Jays when you can block shots and take possessions away from the Ducks. Also had 15 points and nine rebounds. A look at the numbers, look at that. 55% for a game from the floor for Creighton. You're not gonna lose many games when you shoot that well. No, and it's just amazing. And you, teams are gotta be, you always talk about the background and, and the way your guys play. With this arena, there's hardly any background in here, so they're comfortable shooting in here, so it could be to their advantage when a team comes in here because there is so much space in here. But this team was phenomenal tonight, the way they shot the basketball with confidence. They no hesitation whatsoever. All right, it's about time to take your zebra pens and head to the airport. We need to travel to Eugene. Game two is going to be on Wednesday. What can you expect? Oregon gets the game at home. I think Oregon's got to come away with this ball game with, even though they lost the game, with a little bit of confidence. When that lead was so big, they were able to chip away with it, like you said. And when a team is able to do that, then you know if you got them the next night that you got an opportunity. And I think the Ducks feel like they came in here. Yeah, they didn't win the W, but they won. Well, coaches won't say moral <laughs> victories, but I will. I'll say a moral victory. I think they got to be good feel good about themselves going back home and if you say it i'm going to believe it <laughs> we'll talk to you from matthew knight arena on wednesday but game one of the cbi goes to the creighton blue jays they win it over the ducks 84 to 76.